We have Fire Prevention Month, which is going on, and we're hanging in Old City this morning. We're at Ladder 2, 4th and Arch in Old City, and uh, very excited to have the Fire Commissioner here with us, Derek Sawyer. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. And you're a busy guy, so it means a lot to us that you took some time out of your day to come over here and say hello to everybody. Absolutely. You wouldn't miss it for the world. <laughs> so, Commissioner, how did you get started? When you were a kid, were you like me, riding your bike, chasing fire trucks all over the neighborhood? Or? Uh, not quite. Not quite? No, how, did, how did you get the bug? Well, the funny part is that in the Air Force, I used to work on fire trucks. I was a fire truck mechanic. And because I fixed fire trucks, I didn't even want to be a firefighter because I felt like they always broke the trucks. Yeah. Right. So, I got out the Air Force, went to Municipal Services Building, fill out applications for a job trying to find a job, and they said, well, the fire, tar- fire department's hiring. And yeah, like, not so much. Those guys <laughs> break things. Yeah. <laughs> so, fortunately, I took the test anyway and passed the test. They called me. I went for the interview, and they started talking about the schedule, four days on, four days off, vacation, health benefits. Yeah. I'm in. Yeah. yeah. And the rest is history. 29 yeah. years ago. Actually, uh, yesterday, the 21st of October, was my 29th year. Wow, congratulations. congratulations. And I remember wow. it like yesterday. That's so exciting. And you are the new fire commissioner in Philadelphia. Congratulations. Four months and seven days. Seven days. But who's counting? But who's counting? Six hours, <laughs> 21 seconds. Who's there counting? we go. So what was it like? What The difference between your first, your first day as fire commissioner as opposed to your first day as a firefighter? Actually, it was about the same. Yeah. Because your first day... You're happy to be there, but you're, it's like culture shock. Mm-hmm. So you have all these fire lieutenants yelling and screaming at you, doing PT. <laughs> it was almost like basic training again. Yeah. The only difference is the first day as a fire commissioner is like he's starting all over again. So I look, I, I equate it to promotions. You take tests for promotions and you get promoted, but every single rank is like starting all over again because you have to learn how to be a lieutenant a captain, mm-hmm. a battalion chief, deputy chief, so I'm learning how to be a fire commissioner. Do you still get to go out on calls, or are you a... I go out only when it's major. Uh, right. Three alarms are better, so if I go out, it's a really, really big fire. Right. Do you ever, you know, when you're with everyone else, do you ever just kind of step back and giggle to yourself, because you know they're all really nervous that yeah. you're there. Like, you're the head honcho, the big cheese, the big muckety-muck. Yeah, I hope they wouldn't be nervous, <laughs> but... That comes with the territory. I yeah. was the same way when I was a, a new firefighter. Sure. And you're but like, oh, yeah. Whenever the chief came now. around. Your boy's <laughs> saying, hey, chief. Up, right. Good to see you. Doc anything? was doing that just being in the firehouse today. Yeah, I, do. I get all excited when I'm in the firehouse. <laughs> I was the one pushing for the whole fire prevention month thing. That's great. I'm going for fire prevention year now. I'm, I'm promoting that. I like that better. I'm promoting that to the radio station. You should come work for us. Okay. Our, okay. See, Andy. So, <laughs> fire That's prevention year. Yeah. Look out. Um, but you you were just talking um, with Chief about some really great tips for fire prevention and, and things that we can do at home, just little simple things like with the batteries that we're right. giving away today. So November 1st, the clock changes. We always right. have your annual change your clock. It used to be change your clock, change your battery. But we actually upgraded it to change your clock, change your smoke alarm. And the reason why we did that is because... We want people to have the new smoke alarms with the 10-year long-life batteries. Oh, so right. when you have the non-volt batteries, you have to check them more often, right. change them twice a year. Mm-hmm. The 10-year batteries, you don't have to change the battery. You just have to check your smoke alarm. Okay. How about it? I didn't even know that. Yep. Can everybody do it? All that's right. right. All yeah, right. Because the fire commissioner said to. Yeah, and he's right here and he's staring yeah. at us. <laughs> fire Commissioner Derek Sawyer uh, joining us from the Philadelphia Fire Department. You going to hang out with us this morning? Or you're I'll a busy be man. Here. All right, because I want more I want to talk to you about next hour. Right. Uh, we're going to continue. In, I got a whole list. I know. Doc is so excited. I've been working on this list since I was six. <laughs> <laughs> you should see his eyes are like wide as saucers right now. Prevention Month, and uh, you find us in Old City this morning.
Yeah, we're at Ladder 2 at 4th and Arch Street, and uh, we're right across from the Wyndham, and we've got lots of Dunkin' Donuts. Thank yep. you so much, Dunkin' Donuts, for providing coffee and donuts for us this morning. And also the 9-volt batteries for your smoke detectors, thanks to Batteries Plus. Fire Commissioner Derek Sawyer is also here with us. And thank you. You've been hanging around for an hour with us, and you've got to tell us stories, how There's you started. There's been a lot of laughter. I don't think been this has been laughter. too tough a job for <laughs> the commissioner this morning. This has been terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Got to hear me sing? I know that's uh, something you'll always remember. <laughs> You should see his face. Oh, my goodness. We're doing video of this, all, by the way, too. So once we get it all put together, we're going to post it on, uh, um, on, on all of our social media accounts and everything. So you're going to be able to see exactly what the commissioner looks like when Doc sings. Full reaction. <laughs> Let's talk about the firehouse here because uh, a little over a year ago, there was a fire here. Yep. What, what happened that day? So we had one of our medic units had a short and it caused the medic unit to catch on fire. And because it was in the station, the station caught on fire also. But fortunately, working with uh, public property and the capital projects program, right. the station's back, nice, new, clean, mm -hmm. brand new doors, uh, air conditioning system, heating system. So I have to really give a shout out to uh, Commissioner of Public Property, Bridget Greenwald. They work great with us, all new windows on the outside, and we're back in action. Right, I mean, this place has a built-in pool in the back. Right? Shh. What? <laughs> Can't tell them about the pool. <laughs> Bar on the roof. You know, nice. Everyone's like, really? Everybody wants to be a firefighter. <laughs> No, but this is, a, this is my neighborhood firehouse, and I remember when it was out, right. in fact, Andy was the one that told me about it. I was out of the area. She goes, your firehouse just burned down. I mean, what? <laughs> and um, it was about a year, I guess, to get it all going. And it took about a little bit over a year. Most damage was in the Bay Area here? Most in the Bay Area, but the, there's a lot of smoke damage throughout, yeah. so you right. have to clean off the smoke. Once again, all the new windows, heating system, and... Uh, $475,000. Wow. wow. So My goodness. The roof had to be replaced. So uh, it did a lot of good work. It's interesting. You know, you bring up a good point because I feel like that's something that people don't realize when there's a fire in their house is that it's not just the damage that the fire itself. Right. It's not just what burned. It's, right. it's all the smoke damage. So you're looking at right. anything that's fabric, right? you know, is Your probably walls. completely ruined. Right. right. All the walls and stuff yes. and the damage that the water does. Right. You know, so it's we crazy. Have, when I was a kid, I grew up in New York City in the Bronx and there was a fire at the house next to us and they had just redone their kitchen top to bottom spent all this money they had a, a garbage bag that caught fire was near the stove and that goes in so the whole block is full with you know fire trucks and they're going through and throwing things out one by one and the family who close friends of ours are thinking all right you know thank goodness everybody's out of the house firemen did a great job we get our lives back and the guy walks up with whatever the thing on the stick with the hook on it yes i mean what is that called ceiling hook the thing with the yeah it's the ceiling hook <laughs> the ceiling hook okay. yes <laughs> so he comes in and the owner of the house who's like my dad's best friend is like what are you doing he goes oh i gotta rip out the walls no i just put them in he goes there's fire behind the walls no there's not because we got to do it sir and as uh, soon as he does it fire. all the fire runs yep. from behind the wall which would have had they not what burned down the whole house right exactly. yeah you guys got quite a job. We have a new kitchen also. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised. They Nobody's been it. using yeah. it. Uh, yeah. Oops. Oh. <laughs> they heard we had the donuts oh, here, so that's, that's right. what's going Just on. Just saying. <laughs> Commissioner, you were mentioning before, uh, you guys have an app that people can get. Tell us about that. Yes, it's the fire safety app. It's free. You can download it from our website, which is www.freedomfromfire.com. And it talks about smoke alarms. If you need smoke alarms, you can actually request a smoke alarm on the app. It talks about where to place them. It helps you prepare and plan a home escape plan because smoke alarms is just the early warning. You have to right. plan to get out. Right, which is so important, especially if you have if you have children. Especially if you have children. Yeah. Or if you have people in your home with disabilities. Mm -hmm. Plan on how to get them out safely. Right. It talks about um, heater safety, cooking safety. So Thanksgiving is coming up. Oh, right. Right. That's the number one holiday for fire fatality. So. If you want to learn how to cook safely, go to the app. So, they'll help you if out. I was thinking of frying that turkey in my living room, <laughs> probably not a good idea. Not a good idea. All right. Turkey fryers, take them outside. Yeah. So, yeah. The ears just perked up on all the firefighters that are here because they know that you're two blocks away. <laughs> yeah. Right. Like, Get him out of town. <laughs> I'm going, by the way, I won't be around that day. Just let you know. <laughs> Good news for you guys. Yeah, but the app is really, it's really great. And it's very helpful even if you're not in Philadelphia. Even if you're not in Philadelphia, it's Anyone free, download, download it. it. And it has all the information at your fingertips. 
portable heater safety if you use portable heaters. Like I said, smoking, mm -hmm. electrical, any, anything you can think of in fire safety, it talks about. Thank you so much for all that you're doing, Commissioner. Um, and thanks so much for being here today. This has really been a, a lot of fun getting to hang out with you. Thanks for helping get our message done. Thank you, Commissioner Derek Sawyer. Appreciate it this morning. Five. Let's do